Hi, welcome to Jot Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create document approval workflows with Jot Form. So follow me to my desktop right now. Let's get started with our Jot Form dashboard so we can start with our document approval workflow right now. So the first thing that we need is the form where our document is going to be uploaded. In this case, we're going to use contract approval upload form. So in this case, we're going to upload a document that's a contract so we can start the approval flow. Now let's head over to approvals by going to our menu, going my approvals. We're going to create a brand new approval by clicking on create approval. And we have three options. We can start from scratch, which we're going to do right now. We can do a one step approval or we can use a template. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do is select the form that we want to use for this approvals. So in this case, let's click on add form. And like we, like I said before, we're going to select the form that we've previously created on Jot form. So we're going to select contract approval upload form. So let's select this one. And now we can start our approvals process. So on the left, we have the elements that we can use. Our, these are the basic elements. So let's drag in approval. That's going to be our first element. And we can edit this element by clicking on the gear icon. Now, what type of things can we edit? Well, we can change the label name. We can add outcomes or remove. In this case, the default outcomes are approve or deny, but we can add more if we want by clicking on add new outcome. In this case, we're going to work with approve and deny. Who is going to be the approver? This is the email. Is he going to be required login for approver? And it's going to be selected by default on, and we're going to leave it on. Customize approval request email. We can edit that also. Okay, now let's add those emails where we're going to be sending out this if it's approved or denied. So let's add elements. Let's add two sent emails right here. Okay, and now we're going to connect them. See how I hover over the approval section? There's a little arrow right here. We're going to drag it to the email. Let's go over to this plus sign and drag it to the other email. And it enables select the outcome. So in this case, we're going to select approve. Select outcome is going to be denied. And now we're going to edit these emails. So the approved email is this one. Let's click on it. Let's go to the settings right here. And the subject for this one is, we're going to say document approved. Okay, that's going to be the subject and we can edit the email content right here if we like. Let's save this. Now let's edit the denied email right here and it's going to be denied document. Again, we can edit the email content if we like. Let's save this and let's add the end flow. Let's connect these right here to the end. This is really important that you follow this step. And now it's connected. Now, let me explain what's going to happen in this flow. So the first thing that's going to happen is someone's going to fill out the form. They're going to upload a document and it's going to trigger the approvals right here. This one right here. So it's going to it's going to trigger this, send out the email. And this person is going to have the option to approve or deny. And if they approve it, it's going to send out this email. And if they deny it, it's going to send out the other email. Now, what happens if we want to make this a double layer of approval. What does that mean? Let's just say you have a secretary and you want him or her to approve or deny the document before it even reaches you. So you don't even look at documents that have misspelled words or it's just wrong or it's not the right file. So you only receive that. And that's just, this is going to work with the double approval. So let's add another approval section right here. Okay. Let's kind of drag this right here. So we look better. Okay. And it added the outcomes again. So again, this is going to be the approved outcome. And this also is going to be the approved outcome and there's going to be the denied outcome is going to go again to the email. Now let me explain what's going to happen right here. Oh. Denied. Hold on. Let me this looks better. Okay. What's going to happen here with the double approval? Well, when someone uploads the document, it's going to be sent out to this approval email first and it's going to, they're going to check it. And if it's approved, it's going to go to the second email, obviously. You're not going to use the same email. In this case, we'll use the second test email right here. And when this person sees that document that's previously approved by the secretary or someone that you like, well, you have the option again to approve it or deny it. If it's denied, it's going to go straight to the same flow as a denied email. And if it's approved, it's going to send out that email for the approved email, right? So that's how it's going to work with this flow. Now, Let's go ahead and test it so you can see how it's going to actually look on the email inbox and see how the flow actually works. So let's go into publish. Let's open in a new tab. Now let's fill this out with dummy information. 
All right. Title of the contract is going to be document and ch check, please. We're just going to say description of the document and well, it's going to say contract. Okay. Let's upload the document. Select this one. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. Now let's go to our inbox to see how this is going to look. Okay, this is how it's going to reach our inbox. And now we have the option to approve or deny. Plus, we can also view it in our approval section. Now, if we go to our inbox, we can view the option to also approve and deny and view the information from the form that was filled. So here's the document information. And here is a document that was uploaded. Now we can add a comment right here if we like, and we can approve or deny this document. Well, that is how you trigger the documents upload workflow on JotForm. Well, we thank you all for watching. Watch for more tutorials on this channel, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.